Hello, in this video I want to talk about how we can create stacked auto layouts in Figma and how they can be used to tackle a layout block by block. So in our last video, we ended up over here. So we have our components, we have a nested component, and we have two instances. And so what we can do now is we can create a stack over here that will combine these components together. There's a lot we can do with auto layouts, but this is like kind of the most basic and I, I think in a lot of ways the most useful. So I'm gonna right click all three of these and I'm gonna add an auto layout. Okay, so in our auto layout pane over here, we see there's 168 pixels between our elements. And if I do this, now they are stacked one on top of each other. And what's so great about this is as I change the component, the layout adapts. I can also change the order of these things. I can also have different blocks, but different variations of blocks. So for example, maybe I wanna have the circle, I'll detach this instance. have it over our content. And I can go over here and I can select um, my component and change it to a different one. Uh, I should give it a name, otherwise it's super confusing. So I can go over here, left text, alt right, and change it on the fly, or I can alt drag an instance and delete it that way. Can start to, you know, play with different alternates of color and, and so on and so forth. The other thing I can do with this is I could say, all right, so this is maybe my desktop. stack and I'll, I'll try to make another one of these and perhaps this layout I can make uh, a little narrower and this perhaps could be my my iPad layout right and the components where this works I mean it works okay for the header it's not working for these other ones I can reuse the same component in these two layouts. And for these, I might need to make alternates uh, that are responsive to this layout. So anyway, this stack thing is really, really handy. And doing something like this, where if you change the height, the, the layout adapts in something like InDesign is just, a nightmare because anytime you make any change up the page you have to update all the items so this is a good way to kind of block out how your site is going to work and think about it modularly the other cool thing about this is this modular approach echoes what we were doing in the css and that if we tackle each one of these elements and their responsiveness one by one it takes like a big problem and breaks it into bite-sized pieces